morning. It's a beautiful morning. We are live in the city of uh, Ogoja this morning. I think they call it Igoli precisely. Yeah, I don't know if it's the headquarters of uh, Ogoja local government, but it's popularly called Ogoja, but it's Igoli. I think they said there's uh, a Bakpa before Igoli, but we are live in Igoli. Yeah, so we came into Igoli this morning and uh, I visited Cross River, like I said in my previous video in Oka and uh, decided to just do a little stop in Ikom, do a little stop in uh, Ogoja just to see how these uh, towns and cities are because I've been hearing a lot about it and I also heard the governor is doing a, a rice factory in Ogoja so that's why we decided to stop by so I'm going to do a drive around Ogoja briefly just a general overview of Ogoja and uh, I also see the rice meal i hope is completed i hope we can gain access into the rice meal so i will also check that out and see how we can gain access into into the rice uh, the rice meal uh, plant the governor is erecting in Ogoja. and uh, i think there's also a heavy uh, presence of ngos united nation presence in Ogoja as well i hope to also find out uh, why there's so much uh, presence of ngo in Ogoja. So guys, if you are returning subscribers in this video, thank you very much. We do appreciate your sincere love for our channel. I'm not with my wife and our baby, but they are super grateful for your love and we have got it to 3,000. We are chasing 3,500 now. It's all your support. Thank you very much. And if you are seeing this video and you are yet to subscribe, please do well to click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell. So guys, let's go and see what the city of Obuja looks like. So guys, after an hour 30 minutes drive from Ecom, we are finally at Ogoja. Yes guys, welcome to Ogoja. I think when we drove in like this, they said this is Abakwa. Yes, yeah, so we actually drove in from this junction. I think Crutech has a campus just along this part. There's one Crutech campus along this part called Abakwa. Though still in Ogoja, so I don't know why they separated it. Call it one Ogoja, call it one Igoli, but I call everything Ogoja. So those from Cross River State who are familiar with the names and the the, the, the the names of individual territories can as well do let us know in the comment section. So, Crutech is the state university for River State, yeah, science and technology. They have a campus, yeah, I think they have about four or three campuses around Cross River State. I know one is in Calabar, precisely. One is here, I think they also have another one in another part of town. So, but they have a campus here. We didn't get to get into the campus because um, I had other engagement and businesses I needed to meet up with. So generally, this is just a general overview of what Ogoja is like. Yeah, the road are not so awesome. Driving in from this uh, the junction is not so awesome at all. The road is not so nice. But let's see. I think one thing I've like I've always said in my video in, about Cross River State is that I think they enjoy planting trees a lot. Yes, I noticed that virtually in every community I have passed in Cross River State, they have this ambience. This tree just creates a calm environment, a very serene kind of environment in the entire uh, Cross River State. I thought that would end in the capital territory, but I noticed the same thing in Ecom. Notice same thing at Ugeb. Now we are at Ugoja. I'm also noticing something similar to that. So it's quite awesome. It's quite awesome. It gives a very beautiful uh, view to the whole atmosphere and it just makes the whole area very, very calm. So that is very good. Very good. Like I said, the other complaint I made while I was in Calabar was that the nature of the tree sometimes can be very risky when it is windy. So I think that is the only consideration they need to make. But a general note, I think I love the ambience the trees are creating in regards to that. So guys, this is Ogoja. Yes, I entered into Ogoja. I also noticed that there is serious uh, NGO presence. The UN has a lot of presence here. So while moving around the town, doing a drive through around various areas, 
I had to stop to make some inquiries about why so much NGOs, UN especially, has a huge presence here. And a lot of their vehicles are all in town. So I was like, ah, what's the issue? So that was when I was made to understand that the refugee camp is just like 20, 25 minutes away from Oguja. Situated 20 minutes away from Oguja. So I was like, oh, now I see the reason why there is serious uh, presence of... Uh, NGOs around here. So they said the refugees from Cameroon and from other neighboring countries are usually kept somewhere close by around here. So basically, that is the reason for the NGO presence that we saw in the city of Ogoja. But generally, it's a big city, yes, quite populated and uh, good business area as well. A lot of business is going on in Ogoja. Yeah, a lot of businessmen are here and I actually enjoyed my stay in Ogoja very well. Very well enjoyed my stay. Yeah. So guys, that is it. I also observed that Ogoja, like I said about Ecom, you know, Ecom is the hub of cocoa. Ecom is the hub of uh, 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 Roba in uh, Cross River State. I noticed that this part of town, they are very good with uh, uh, the rice, I think coming in, maybe you get into uh, Ogoja local government proper, you see a lot of villages where rice have been shaded and all of that. So they have uh, rice a lot in Ogoja local government. I think that should be one of their major, um, uh, what they call farming that they do in Ogoja. Probably that is also relational to why the governor has to cite the rice meat factory in the city i'm so excited because i'm really anticipating seeing what the rice meal is like because i've seen uh, the video on the governor's page about the commissioning of the rice meal and where they were test running it i'm really excited to see what is being done you know because i'm super uh, happy to see such development coming to a state and i pray that that will also give a lot of massive opportunity to to the indigenous of the state so guys stay tuned to the end of this video because after a small drive around town we are going to go straight to the rice me area let's see what is going on there and if activity has kicked off properly around there if you are still seeing this video thank you very much we do appreciate your love for the channel like i've said in the introductory video please do well to click the subscribe button if you are not if you have not and turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video and just to mention for those who are outside the city of uh, calabar or not from Cross River State and you want to come to Cross River State, you can check out our detailed tour of the Calabar Airport. Yes, I have done a detailed tour of Calabar Airport so you can actually fly into Calabar and uh, have a good time. And just to mention, the distance from uh, Calabar to Ogoja, I think that will take you roughly five hours drive. If I'm not mistaken, it's quite a distance to travel from Calabar to Ogoja. It's quite a distance, so that's going to take you like five hours drive to get to Ogoja proper. So guys, if you are seeing this video and you are from Cross River State and you are from Ogoja, Abakpa or Igoli precisely, please do well to rep your location in the comment section. Do well to tell us more details about your community. For me, I'm excited to visit your community. Yes, guys. So this is the road now leading to the processing meal, the rice meal in Ogoja town. So we're already heading towards that direction. Let's see what is going on around the rice meal. In the GF, we are going to be there. I hope workers are on ground and I hope activity has kicked off proper like I've said before. And I hope a lot of youth have been employed or have been empowered through that medium because a lot of videos circulated online then about the governor trying to bring a new special of rice. He said he's a professor in agriculture and all of that. So that's the rice meal just by the far left. We are going to make a U-turn shortly at the front to see how we can drive into the rice meal proper yes from what i can observe physically now i've not entered yet i can see that uh, i can't notice anybody inside little grass here and there uh, compared to the commissioning video i saw online by the governor uh so but well let's do a turn and let's have a clearer view of what 
it is all about because when he commissioned it he made reference to oh he's going to partner with a boy in state and see how because a boy state is also known for rice production to see how they can also um, get contact from a boy in state for them to process their rice uh, for them as well now it's a massive project actually it's a massive project by the state governor like i said i really pray and hope that uh, it is highly 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 functional as you can see the landmarks we are driving on now is actually being occupied by this project so it's actually located in a very large mass of land and that is why uh, I, I i keep i keep saying that it's a really 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 massive project so that is it guys let's locate the entrance gates and let's drive in and see what is happening in cross river rice processing meal yes guys we are almost there shortly 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 we will be there yeah quite quite big i think the 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 first building we are seeing which is looking like the processing building is the only building that i am really really seeing inside the compound yes this is a clearer view from outside so now we are trying to get to the gates to see how we can get into the rice mill so guys yes a lot of tires at the entrance of the gates the gate is barricaded tires were placed on the floor you can't drive into the compound so the soldiers just the checkpoints close to this place I, I made an inquiry from the soldiers and they said well it's not really functioning for now they only just did a test run when the president came into cross river state so guys from my observation on ground physically now in ogoja the rice mill is not functioning for now so i don't think they have staffs yet because i didn't see anybody on ground i didn't see cars inside there was nothing like people were moving around the place but this is the structure the plant has been set i don't really know what is keeping it from functioning or from employing people that would make it work so basically this is just the general overview of what the processing mill is like so no entrance barricade tires at the gate of the the mill so we could not enter like i've said so we had to turn back but an update from me who is on ground now is that the rice mill is not yet functioning so it was just a test run the governor did and it's yet to commence proper work so guys that is it if you have stayed with me thank you very much i do appreciate you and if you have not subscribed please do well to click the subscribe button i'll catch you in our next video bye